Aloha, everyone. Welcome back to our beautiful little mini moon day podcast over here on Ascension Diaries professional Patreon group. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon member. If you're hearing this and you haven't yet, please go ahead to patreon.com slash Ascension Diaries and pledge to my professional blog so I may continue sending you this content right to your inbox. I am honored to be sharing this Libra new moon energy with you today. We just had a new moon in Virgo. We're now moving into the Libra energy. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking about money. So welcome in and enjoy our little monetary discussion. Now, yes, of course, this episode is sponsored. I am currently opening up month-long coaching packages, basically, for anyone who would like to meet with me once a week for a whole month to accelerate their ascension, basically, and access and heal all of your ancestral and current energetic cords that need to be organized better. I am excellent at this duty. I have excellent sight at this, and I am increasing my accuracy and my reach beyond your great great grandparents i'm able to see so please welcome in you can take a just one hour session with me half hour session with me to test it out and we can begin with our month-long coaching package whenever it is that you seem fit you can message me or book it on my website ascensiondiaries.com it's all there for you please and thank you i'd be honored to be your guide for this month Looking forward to who I'm going to be working with next for these monthly coaching packages. They are quite affordable. I reduce the price significantly from my other model and it's, it's exciting. I'm very, very excited to see how this is going to roll out and who I'm going to get to work with next. With this Libra new moon energy, I wanted to bring up the concept of money and of finances because Libras love money. They really do because the Venusian energy of Libra is the more masculine side, which is usually the one that wants to do things, act, experience, go out, which is a more adventurous sort of quality. And usually these days to go anywhere and do anything and to acquire any of the beautiful garments and the beautiful uh, handcrafted amazing items out there, you need money. And so Libras have found themselves in positions where maybe not always pursuing the deepest beauty of life but they are working to be able to afford the the beauty that they do allow themselves and they can afford for themselves in order to kind of keep their emotional balance and to feel that self-care has been fulfilled to be a libra which i know very well we are all about the aesthetic we like our things our situations and our people (laughs) to be aesthetically balanced and harmonized the best we can. And we constantly are working on maintaining that sort of status quo. And when it's not there, it is very distressing and it causes a reshuffling and a whole new re-approach to who we need to be to keep the, the bliss in our lives, basically. So a lot of changes and corrections. I notice that Libras are usually pretty good at that. And Libra is the least humanoid or less, there's no sort of animus usually there. It's a scale. So truly to have compromise and balance and non-confrontation tends to be the, the way. So I like Libra energy because that's how I like to live my life full time is it's my son. And to have emotionally non aggressive energy with the emotions and the signs behind this the moon right now is really nice it's a nice break on my my soul and although I have deeply upset someone in my life recently to a point where I don't know if our relationship is going to last this particular scar which is very intense it showed me so much also where I have allowed myself to be that upset where I've allowed myself to hold on to grudges so long. And it taught me a deeper level of forgiveness for those people that I've been doing that to in my own life. So to be mirrored 
by my friend all of my deep insecurities and problems back to me in such a new way and a more feminine side too, a sisterly way was so helpful for my growth. And as I continue growing, I'm getting better at communication, getting better at creating those bridges back with a better foundation for a more trustworthy engagement with your friends. And then other people just have to choose to open their hearts and forgive and trust and also be, I would say, more vigilant maybe with how much you expect from other people in your engagements based off of how much communication or how much history you have with that person. I've learned this many, many times as I've dealt with many, many people and people have pushed me over my boundaries. They've hurt me in in indescribable ways, but I have now learned a deeper way and sense and almost an understanding and perspective now how to forgive them and how to forgive myself for getting so mad, but more so just forgiving them for being, for being that person in my life that had to make me that angry. Because I know before we came out here, before we were born, we probably wrote all these contracts because we trusted that <laughs> eventually we would forgive one another because it was inevitable that we did love each other as we would die and end up in the same realms of heaven again, hanging out, reviewing, and moving forward with the next level or next part of the mission, basically. This is how I think about life incarnated. I assume I'm mostly just going to be popping out of here and hanging out with the other angels, whom, you know, all of you are, in my opinion, if we are resonating in the same frequency to even be on this podcast together. I assume that we're from similar frequency bandwidths of the universe. So the Libra energy, take advantage of it. It is a way to remind yourself that you are worthy of your aesthetic. You're worthy of your, you know, safe feeling, your love, your bonds that have remained through thick and thin, through the hardest times you've ever imagined and some of the most intense times you've ever imagined. Astonishing progress to be made for all of us in the next few days from all of the solar flare energy that's gonna that's been landing on us basically from three days ago till now. So today is currently the 29th of August. 2022 Monday the show really began on the Friday on the 27th and then the 28th we're gonna have a meeting on Wednesday where we can review all of this data as well and process this because I do basically group counseling as often as possible in a way with these space weather videos so we can review our weeks we can review the data and we can process the emotional impacts that all of these chips may have left residue in our systems with. So we can do that for ourselves and all the people we take care of because again, the people in my resonant frequency probably are very caring, in my opinion, as the physics goes. So that being said, welcome into this period post about 12 M-class solar flares in the last three days. Clearly a timeline shift and a jump, a frequency shift. Indeed, we all survived, we all adapted as we should, as we, as we must. And when it comes to now creating and receiving what it is you need for this next timeline, for this next cycle, this next moon cycle even, Many of you most likely were manifesting mon- money and monetary support to be coming back to you through the next lunar cycle when the full when the moon is full. That's when all of your wishes at new moon is supposed to come true for you, or at least some progress. And so when it comes to money, I learned a mantra that I want to share with you about abundance that has helped me sort of open my chakras better because I was not getting the wording right. So I would say, listen to this mantra and see how it feels on your body. I am open to receiving the abundance I have manifested. 
I am open to receiving the abundance I have manifested. May it be money and more. For we are here for benevolent support and soul growth approved of by creator until further notice. (laughs) And something like that. Maybe just see how that feels, opens up. It's another thing I like to do in my sessions. We usually do a meditation in the beginning to kind of get ourselves synced. And I will say whatever it is that I'm channeling at the time that to help open up or begin the conversation because usually I'll start getting messages right away and begin kicking off the conversation in the direction it's supposed to go. But with the month-long therapy, we can go in many directions and have I have many weeks and opportunity to really process a lot more to be able to deliver deeper and deeper levels of clarity about your particular aura and what's going on with your ancestral DNA and so on which is what we're here to kind of suss out and fix real quick as we all need. I've had it done to me in different ways. I'm now extending those techniques to people with my own as well intuitive awakening abilities and my natural tendency and abilities to be able to do this for people. So I want to carry on and pass on those abilities as well by continuing to work with people. If you are interested in activating and becoming someone like myself, especially in the community, I am happy to aid you as well. We can hook up for one whole month and I can be your guidance counselor. We will meet once a week, just like everyone else. 45 minute call. And then we will see and move through that progress for the four weeks and get you launched. It will not take that much time. It really that really will be a good window to pretty much accomplish any goal that you really need help pushing through. And then if you must, and if you're interested, we can extend your coaching for two more months, but we can talk about that at the end of your first month. When it comes to money, you have to accept that you're worthy of, of it and that you're actually a volunteer here on earth. You're a volunteer And they cannot afford your wages, you know, they cannot afford your wages because what only, what only pleases you is a blissful universe with proper levels of schooling (laughs) and opportunity for growth and safety, for example. So when it comes to those manifestations, you can go to those levels. And just know that you will be provided for as an extension of God's energy itself, the Godhead working here to bring light and anchor in the new earth through your creative abilities as a five-fingered, conscious, ape, humanoid, alien thingy that is all prepped and ready to go and getting activated day by day, but some of you are getting activated sooner and are being motivated to get ahead of the crowd, to run ahead, to spearhead like I once was and I do every day. If you are needing that extra support, I'm so excited to meet you because we have mutual, (laughs) we have mutual interests and we're going to understand each other and I promise I'll do my best to up level you to where you're thinking you're needing to go. (laughs) <laughs> and just just holding space for this next level of activation that's going to happen with all these solar flares coming through and these changes. Just like in 2017, there was many larger X-flare radiations that came off of the sun, and a lot of people woke up those years. So we're getting X-class flare warnings, and I want to say the psychics are coming to me when the M-class flares start to pile up on themselves and they're like, is this, is this it? Is this the X-flare? How big is it going to be? And I keep telling them I've seen messages about how, this, how the sizes are going to be, but I can only guess because really it's not up to me as much individually as it is the collective decision. And our higher selves are thankfully 
I think steering that from a different perspective. Only a piece of our soul can manage to be down here, but we keep trying to make this piece that's down here more and more filled with light and more clear so that translation can be pure. Almost as if we're like a glass rod and the light can carry from one end of the glass rod to the other. It's a very interesting visual, but I can see how that was helpful. I'm now holding quite a large match in my hand. I don't even know literally where it came from. I just scooped it up from this random shelf <laughs> and this match as the final sort of invocation for those of you who are trying to open up their wealth channels. It's just about feeling worth it. It's just about feeling like you're so much more worth it than it, it's even worth it. It's worthy of you. You have to allow it to be worthy of you in a way. You have to be, you have to say it's worthy of you and you will receive it so you may serve. Serve strong and wise. I'm pretty sure the richest man in the Bible was asking for wisdom when he was given his biggest payout basically ever. So <laughs> instead of pursuing wealth, pursue the wisdom and the sharing of love and know that that is a just duty and you will be provided for by heaven. And that's how I've, that's how I've stubbornly lived my life. And no matter what, even mistakes I make, it still gets replenished in other random ways because I keep that optimism, which means I have faith in the great spirit. I have faith in creator and in the process. I have faith that everything's going to work itself out, that I will be forgiven because I am forgiving and that I'm going to continue getting inspired to help the community with more and more wisdom as well. So for those of you, again, wanting to welcome in more wealth, just know that by this next full moon, it will be manifest for you. You're already on that progress. I light this flame for you in inspiration and out of invocation for your right to shine brightly and be illuminated 